five years of hard work. Oop, and you just got the email. So, that's it? For my undergrad? Well, there's more to it. I want to share with you my story of becoming a quote-unquote half-Canadian. That was my first year in Canada. My English wasn't that good. You know, sometimes I, I can't understand what the other people say. And my GPA wasn't really high either, regardless of how much I studied. I failed the course. I failed 145. So if you ask me back then, what does it mean to be an international student? I would tell you, it's waking up in the morning, going to the school, attending class, studying in the library, then heading home. Don't get me wrong, I did want to go out and be like an international student. You know, go to different events and talk to the locals, learn a couple of interesting facts about Canada and stuff. But because of my lack of confidence, I was just too afraid to step out of my comfort zone. What are you doing? Until my second year in Canada, I met my girlfriend Olivia. Olivia was the kind of person who loved to go to different school events and contacts, but still maintain decent grades at school. <laughs> yeah, those people. But what surprised me the most was that she's not really good at socializing either. In fact, she's kind of an awkward person, like not really good at small talk or being too afraid to ask for help or favor. Like me, she also felt extremely uncomfortable when she went out of her comfort zone. However, she told me that she might be socially awkward, but if she never tries new things in life, she would never know how much fun she could have and how many things she can learn from those experiences. She made me realize that I shouldn't take things for granted. If I had this perfect opportunity to study and live in Canada, why not go out and explore? Officers here? No. Oh, oh she, 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 yeah? I'm gonna say, you can't wear the hat on the job. Leave, leave. <laughs> We've got different hats. I no longer felt scared to speak English or talk to strangers. Not only that, my grades also went back on track and finally got some decent grades. As an international student, I felt gratified and super proud to make such progress and adapt to the Canadian lifestyle. However, deep down my heart, I still felt like something is missing. Two years ago, Olivia and I traveled back to China for the first time together, visiting my family and traveling around the Canton area. During our trip, she constantly reminded me to film and vlog everything. Honestly, I felt kind of annoyed at the beginning because I mean, we can just take some pictures along the way, right? Why do we need to film everything? But you know what? Filming and vlogging really grew on Made in Tam. The reason why I started to enjoy a bit more was not because I enjoyed carrying a camera around and filming stuff all of a sudden, but because through the camera, I was able to capture the excitement that Olivia had when she learned some fun facts about Chinese culture, picking up some new slang, 
or meeting my hometown friends for the first time. It made me realize sharing culture is a really cool thing to do. That got me thinking, perhaps studying abroad is not just about culture adaptation. There's more to it. That's why after the trip, I decided to document my experience as a Chinese international student in Canada, making videos about my experience and interactions with the locals. Essentially, I want to use my stories to create intercultural dialogues, letting people in Canada and worldwide get to know the younger generations in China. I want to inspire and help out more people through my content. Five years later, I can finally put my headphone down and find the meaning and the joy of studying abroad thanks to this big guy. So I can connect to my laptop with just a USB-C. It is more than just a monitor. It is also the place where I can relax and do what I love. After a long day of studying and working in my tiny little apartment. If you ask me again, what does it mean to be an international student? I would say it is the process of becoming a half Canadian. Being an international student is not just about getting out of comfort zone, being fluent in English, or embracing ourselves into the Canadian lifestyle. It is also essential to treasure every opportunity we have to share our culture with others and find joys in those intercultural dialogues. 